I, you know, as I said when we had the, the deal in the shot and scene center last year, it, it honestly is, is the most humbling, but one of the greatest honors I've ever had. And, you know, for somebody that didn't go to school here, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame is uh, it's a special thing. It really is, and it uh, feels good to be back. Um, what will, to, to sort of take that bow tomorrow and to have that, uh, kind of like they did in, in, at the shot, but uh, I would think that would be gratifying as well. Well, no question, because, uh, you know, number one is, as you guys have always known, I've been one of the biggest Ohio State football fans that, that it has been, and I think I missed one game in, in 13 years here. Um, but, you know, just, I've always said there's something electric about the horseshoe, and, and uh, to have the opportunity to be out in front of them one more time will be a, a unique thing. Did I read that you said you might be getting the itch? I don't know where you read that. Uh, that might have been <laughs> my wife's so column. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but get uh, him out of the house. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I don't know. We're, yeah. we're going to see. Um, I, I think that uh, I think there's still a lot of developments to happen in college basketball, which I'm excited to see. But um, you know, it is, it's going to take a special opportunity or a special situation. And if you ask me what it is, I, I don't know. So the so get it cleaned up and I might consider. Yeah, yeah. I just like Are know. they going about it the right way, coach? I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I I don't know. It's it's uh it's interesting. That's the first thing I do every morning is just check see what's going on with it. And uh, you know, obviously been kinda of quiet, but uh, you know, I, I think all coaches are, are kinda of the same have the same sentiments as I do, just in terms of hey, let's, let's try to get it an even playing field and, and uh, you know, get the get the bad guys out and the good guys back in. But I think that'll be Dad, when you took the job, could you envision this? No. No, uh, no way could I ever envision this. And, and um, you know, it's funny. I was thinking about uh, uh, you know driving from Cincinnati up here to do my press conference as I was driving over yesterday, and um, you know, just the, the thoughts were going through my head a little bit like now. And, and you know, the fact that here we are, 15, 16 years later, whatever, and, and this is happening, um, you know, it just it, it shows you it was a, it was a special run that we had here. What, if anything, what stands out the most? I know you've been asked that plenty of times. Yeah, you know, it, it just, there, I think there's so many moments. There's there's so many, you know, you, you look at the success that we had over a course of 13 seasons, and, and it's, I don't want to say it's impossible to pinpoint a moment, but, you know, I was talking to Matt um, and Joel, I think it was, on the radio the other day, and, and we talked about Matt Sylvester's shot and just what that did for the program back in 04, I think it was. Um, but you know, there's just there's there's so many uh, great moments, and, and it just it's so hard to pinpoint. And people ask me who who is the favorite player of all time you ever coached, and there's there's probably a hundred of them that that for some reason something they did that, that meant a lot to me. When you step away from coaching for a little bit now, I feel like like you can think about all the big moments, the big games, but. Are there little moments that maybe you forgot that came back to you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, it's, it's funny because I, I think the little moments are what make uh, the, the time here so special. And, and you know, I, it, it's funny because I, I think about things that I would say the average fan never noticed happen that were just so, you know, Ron Lewis breaking a play in 05 at Northwestern to, to – but the game-winning basket that wins us a Big Ten championship, and everybody, nobody knew he made the right read. He broke the play. Uh, you know, Joe Jaquel Foster diving on the floor and, and making D Brown pick up his fourth foul with four minutes and 30 seconds to go. Nobody ever thought about that, but I'm over there like that's the greatest play I've ever seen in my life. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's those little things that uh, uh, that really stand out. How often do you do you reminisce? How often do you think about it, or maybe talk to other people about what you went through? You know, it's, it's funny because I, I've, I don't want to say I've prided myself on this, but I've always been a guy who never really looks back. Um, you know, Is that part of it right now? You know, I just sort of kind of go with the flow and, and uh, uh, 
see what happens. But you know, like uh, I, I spent some time with John and Aaron this summer, and Joey Lane stopped by my house two nights ago and spent a couple hours with Barbara and I. And um, you know, when, when you get with those guys, you 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 go through all the things that, that happened and, and all the, the things that we did together, and and, and those are special times. How does this moment kind of stack up to see your name go up in the rafters? Well, it's it's uh, right there. I mean, there's, there's there's no question about that. I think uh, you know that was a night that kind of blew me away. Um, a lot like this is, and, and you know the only difference is when I came over that night, I didn't know that was going to happen. Um, and and this, I knew Matt Twiller had called me and, and told me I was going in uh, probably a couple months ago. So uh, I've had a little more time to, to kind of get prepared. You ready for your speech? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, still trying to decide if I want to go comedy or. Uh, you know, just what angle I'm going to take with it, but uh, no, no question. I mean, you know, there's, there's so many people. When you when you give a speech like this, you, you could when you spend 13 years here, I could talk for hours. Sure. And uh, I'm not going to do that, so don't worry if you guys are going. I won't do that. But uh, um, you know, just a opportunity to, to thank some people. What was it like to see uh, some of your former guys team up and win that oh, basketball team? Oh, unbelievable. Un unbelievable and, and so happy for those guys and um, you know I, it, it's, it's funny I'm, I'm falling in love with that tournament I, I love the, the format of it and how it works and um, you know like I said I, I got to spend six hours in a car with John and Aaron arguing all six hours but them guys talking about you know uh, trying to win the money and, and that sort of thing and, and now you see how important it is to them as they're, they're having, you know, John had twins last Friday and, and um, Jared's got twins on the way and you know, Aaron's got a little one on and it's just like, they're saying, you know, coach, I can start to college and it's like, you, you find out what the real world is really all about.